Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Uh, welcome back to my time bench. Uh, the fly I'm going to tie is a uh, uh, very brand new and original pattern of mine. Uh, I have tested and experimented a lot. Uh, it's been proven to catch uh, trout after trout. So I'd like to present you here with uh, great confidence. Okay, believe it or not, this is a, a snail imitation. And then there's always a story you know behind for development uh, at the deputy spring creek you know uh, in livingston montana which is uh, uh, just about uh, know, five minutes away from my house so i fish a lot there and then uh, i've been uh, every time pretty much every time i catch trout you know somewhere between 11 inches uh, 15 inches uh, i do stomach sampling you know stomach pumping and then more than often, I've been seeing these uh, snails. And then uh, when I do kick scene again, I find snails. And I wasn't sure the importance of snails as uh, as uh, you know trout you know uh, diets. But uh, since you know I've been uh, seeing them, I've been collecting them, you know from uh, trout's you know stomachs. So I thought it may be worth uh, you know uh, designing and you know giving a shot. Then um, this is what I've been seeing. This is the first time I ever do this. <laughs> uh, the shape is uh, spiral and the coiled shell. You know, uh, uh, color is uh, basically brown with shades of you know black here and there. Length just about four to seven millimeter. Some are really small. Then this is not you know exact translation here, but uh, just about an uh, eighth. Um, to a quarter of an inch so this is what I wanted to imitate so okay let's get started okay hook I'm going to use is Daiwiki 280 size 16 you know that's the biggest I use uh, 2x long curved hook and then the bead is either uh, this is you know gold but uh, this one's got a you know a bronze you know copper I, uh, that I believe uh, that I uh, you know tested you know it's just the same. It's about a three a thirty second or the size sixteen. And then the thread I'm going to use is uh, uh, brown. This happens to be three o. Six so definitely should do, and then you know probably uh, as you tie smaller, you need a uh, eight o, just about uh, the hook point. I wrapped in this. I'm wrapping in this uh, piece of uh, copper wire, medium size. Then next is uh, this uh, scud back. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Sorry, I'm showing olive here. This a uh, tang scud back tang. On eighth. Okay, I really don't care how this is going to be wrapped, you know, as long as it's secure. Just about here. Okay, what these two are going to do is uh, these two are going to create this. Uh, uh, segmentation and uh, coiled you know then also this uh, uh, the flash and the uh, uh, flashy and then you know gloss effect of you know outside outer shell so and then the next is a uh, 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 color I found this dubbing with rocks you know SLF blend you know this is really good you know this happens to be called uh, uh, brown stone nymph you know this is really good material, you know, really uh, just a light, uh, right amount of flash and, uh, you know, really lifelike, you know, expression. Okay, I, I want to make a really tight uh, dubbing and then make a uh, tight body.
Okay, let me rub some more. So let me explain what I'm up to. It's kind of easier for me to, you know, dab and rub one at a time, not just um, because of the distance between camera and my bobbin. Okay, okay. This is what I'm up to. I try to create this uh, uh, apex at the end of you know hook shank, and then as I go forward, I want to create this wide you know fatter pad, you know. And then uh, uh, this was actually um, the biggest concern uh, as of designing this uh, because it uh, it was easier for me if I would tie this way, you know, make a fatter pad here, you know, a wider part here, and then. Uh, just finish with you know apex but uh, if I would do that and then if you know uh, fly would be liked by trout and then be a bitten uh, what would happen is most likely I would be losing a trout because if I got a wider part here you know uh, the hook gap is going to you know be now going to be narrow you know clogged you know so uh, that's why I, I gotta you know design this way so I'm, I'm trying to create this, you know, wider um, part in here, and then uh, want it really tight. Probably just one more. Um, then my um, actually the last concern uh, was uh, how you know could I finish this uh, you know fly you know if I got a you know wider you know part you know as I go front and then the answer was this uh, bees uh, because uh, uh, the, I that way I can finish you know uh, between you know. Uh, this a body and the bead, you know, and then um, uh, then bead is going to add some weight and then uh, all other you know good effects, you know. So I think I got a really you know uh, tapered and then uh, a tight body here. So next step is uh, where the naming you know come from. I'm going to wrap this you know a scut back as if I'm going to mummify this thing. Slipped a bit. Tied it up in here. Okay. Next, I'm going to. Well, counter mummify with this wire. Fast wrap. And next, you know, segmentation. And then the, the third one is going to be wider on purpose because the uh, uh, segmentation of the shell is going to be wider towards the, you know, uh, the bottom, so to speak. So that that's that's why. Okay, there you go. finish okay 
wrapped and mummified just fine, I guess. And then, um, uh, as I showed you in the beginning, uh, one with a uh, gold bead, and then uh, I have this one here uh, with a black, you know, uh, uh, gra uh, grass bead here. Also, uh, I have this, uh, say, a size 20, probably the smallest I can tie. With this one's got a nickel, you know, bead here. And then I definitely fish these with uh, uh, under indicator, uh, with a uh, split shot, give or take. And then um, I think the uh, most important thing is, uh, you know, find uh, and observe, you know, the, what kind of snails you have in your home water. And then uh, 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 color, and then also uh, you know uh, you can use these uh, different you know scud bugs. You know, uh, I I have once tried with this uh, clear one, but but uh, in, you know at the Depew Spring Creek, this one you know doesn't seem to work you know as well as this uh, tan. So uh, that's what I find, and then uh, uh, there's no not so many snail patterns in the you know, market so I hope you know if you fish with you know snails uh, I hope uh, this will you know uh, give you some idea and then, uh, and then uh, always you know, uh, you know keep showing you know uh, new flies to trout you know to be honest nobody really think about you know fishing with snails at the pews that I'm catching lots of trout with this <laughs> So, uh, just keep showing, you know, new flies, and then, uh, uh, I hope you enjoy, you know, tying, and then, uh, going and fish with them. So, um, uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.